Hi guys, John here. So I've been requested by a few people wanted me to show some more of my precious tarantulas. So I got a request from Dobo 1005 for my P. Urminia and P. Pulker and for cute bonification um, my Hedascadra Maculata de Togo Starburst Baboon. Since we're near my computer, I'll be happy to show you my Sampo Urminia, the Venezuelan Sun Tiger. And uh, she's right there. So let's zoom in on her. Yeah, very pretty tarantula. And you can see it's a female. Got this one for free about a year and a half ago from Tarantula Canada as a half an incher. So pretty much the same size as my Fasculata, but uh, she's grown quite a bit. And uh, yeah, she's very temperamental, so you don't bother trying to handling these uh, species. Nice. Now for my um, P. Pulker. Now also Dobo1005 requested to see my Samopolis Pulker. The Panama Blonde, here she is. Her name is Amanda. Uh, she's at least a two inch juvenile right now. Uh, she's starting to get her adult colors. They become blonde uh, once they get older. Very, very neat. Uh, nasty temper is al almost as bad as P. or Minya. Okay, so now for a cute bunnyfications request. Wants me to uh, film my Hedascotch Immaculata. Well, I got two of them in here. Uh, I got a three inch juvenile, which seems to be hiding. Or you can see its mouth parts. And my adult female. She's close to five inches right now. Yeah, there she is, huddling there. Um, these tarantulas are pretty highly defensive, uh, highly venomous species. Therefore, you really don't want to try and handle these. And are they fast? Oh yeah, they are fast. L I mean, lightning fast. Yeah, so here's a request. Hadascotra maculata, the Togo Stubbers baboon. It's a too bad that she's doesn't want to show her face, but really, really nice tarantula. So I guess what I'll do now, um, I'll take a low, give you a lowdown on what tarantulas that you can start off with, and then work your way up to the more defensive tarantulas. Okay, so if you're a new new BT owner, just got into tarantulas, so congratulations. So the first one you should attempt getting, well, everyone always does, even myself, is to get a rose hair, such as this one in the pet stores. You can buy them for about 20 or 30 dollars. Uh, most can be fairly docile, some can be aggressive. It's very typical of Amistola species that they have, tend to have a lot of bad mood swings, so you really want to exercise caution if you want to handle them. But if you want to go for something much more um, easier to handle. You know, like I really recommend the Honduras curly hair. That's the one I took out, taken out uh, in my previous tea video. Or the Brachy Palma Smithy, the Mexican red knee. Uh, very docile spiders. Um, Smithies can be uh, sort of a hair flicker, but not too bad. Bomies are probably the worst hair flickers. And they're and then if you are bo if terrestrial tarantulas are not your cup of tea, you know, the, and then we have what you call arboreal tarantulas that live up in trees. So a perfect uh, way to start um, collecting your arboreals, you start off with your pink toes, the Vicularia vicularia, very handleable. So I can show you Mona. I believe this one's a male now. I actually handled her. She's pretty calm now. And there you are. This is only uh, sub-adult. They get up to about having a 5-inch leg span. And I can show you another one, a versi color. <laughs> My Antilles pink toe, if it's out. Oh yeah, there it is. And this is what you call an adult. There she is. Sweet.
What I really like about AVIX is that uh, they're really handleable. You know, like I showed you for my Avicularia fasciolata and my Avicularia avicularia. Very handleable. They can be fast if disturbed, but this is very good experience because it'll show you how fast tarantulas can be. So once you're capable of have handling or dealing with a little fast species, you want to go for the slightly more defensive species. So perfect, uh, great choices you want to make are uh, Lassiodora parahibana uh, in there, pink salmon bird eater. You can go for Canthoscuria brocklehursti, the giant wet bandit, or the Canthoscuria geniculata, the Brazilian whitening, almost the same species, except these guys have more red hairs on the abdomen, and they're slightly more uncommon. Then you can go for, you know, for Pomphibius species like this Platyama. Uh not this one. And Nandu chromatis, white striped bird eater, which have been uh, lab mislabeled as Lassiodora cristata, but that's the old previous name. So what I like about these tarantulas is that <laughs> they're not so nice, you know, like some of them are Hannibal, some of them are not, but some of them can be really fast, and which is also a great experience. So if our boreals are cup of tea, I recommend you starting off with your Samopoas genus. This because this will prepare you for the old world uh, arboreal, such as Pokey. So that's a Trinidad Chevron, Samopoas camerjai, four and a half inch female. These are probably one of the more calmer uh, Samopoases. The Pulker and the Arminia are really bad tempered. Rodunkus is not so, so bad. But I really wouldn't risk handling tarantulas like that because uh, you don't want to get bitten. So once you can deal with owning a Samopoas, you can own species like the Pocotherias, you know, like this one here, the Pocotheria metallica, the Goody Sapphire ornamental. Don't even bother handling pokies because they have a worse bite. Then you can start dealing with H. Max. And if you're, uh, if you have guts like me, you can, oh, she molted, no. You can start uh, dealing with these spiders, Dramatopelma calciatum, feathered like baboon. I happily termed, named her Xena, the warrior princess. Yeah, because she's fearless, all right. And Tapanakinius, really, really nasty tempered um, arboreals. I think possibly these are meaner than pokies. So if you want, I'll give you a little close-up of it. Hang on. And there she is, Tapanakinius gigas, the orange tree spider. It's my larger one. So hopefully you enjoyed this information, and uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Alright, peace guys.